okay uh, so in this uh, problem uh, we have been given a circuit okay, and we need to determine the direction for the flow of current across the 2r resistor okay the options given to us are from either from left to right or from right to left or no current flows through the current or none of these okay so uh, in order to uh, solve for the current which is flowing across the 2r resistor what we can do is we can reduce this circuit now here as we'll see in this circuit diagram we know that this uh, point uh, a is connected to this point by a short circuit wire so that means the potential at this point will also be a okay. similarly for this short circuited wire potential at this end is b so since this it is connected by a short circuited wire this point will also be having the same potential b now if we will reduce uh, this circuit we'll uh, redraw this circuit okay. what we'll be getting is an equivalent diagram which we know that uh, from point a to b we have a resistor okay. so if we'll consider a point a from a to b we have a resistor r from b to a there is a resistor of 2r okay and from a to b again we have a resistor of r okay. and this this in turn is connected to a battery as this okay so this is the circuit for the equivalent circuit for the original problem given to us now in this case we need to determine what would be the direction of flow of the current through this 2r Uh, resistor now if you will see properly that all these resistors are connected in uh, are connected in parallel okay and for the parallel case as we can see that uh, since all of them is having some finite resistors the currents would be flowing across uh, some amount of current would be flowing across all of these resistors okay and the direction of the flow of current would be from the positive potential from the high potential end to the low potential end that means for this case of 2r the uh, the direction of flow of current would be from the high potential end this is the higher potential end and this is the lower potential end that means it would be pointing from a to b now in the original diagram okay that means the direction of the flow of current for this resistor in the in this branch of 2r resistor would be in this way that means from a to b so the correct option for uh, the given problem would be from right to left okay so this is the correct answer for the given problem okay. uh, now uh, we'll solve a problem based on uh, meter bridge okay okay so this is the problem given to us uh, based on uh, wheatstone's bridge uh, the application of wheatstone's bridge that is in this case it is based on me uh, meter bridge now uh, in a practical wheatstone bridge uh, circuit as shown when one more resistor or resistance of 100 ohm is connected in parallel with the unknown resistance x okay that means with this unknown resistance x we have one more resistor of 100 ohm that is connected in parallel to this resistance we need uh, and uh, then the ratio l1 by l2 becomes 2 now for the connection for which an unknown uh, uh, a resistance of 100 ohm is connected across this unknown resistance the ratio for the um, balancing length becomes 2 now what we have to determine is the value of x the unknown resistance okay so uh, we know that the circuit is balanced for this balancing length of uh, when the ratio for the balancing length becomes 2 now uh, as per the given uh, uh, data we know that a resistance of 100 ohm is connected in parallel to this actual resist uh, the unknown resistance x which we have to determine okay so if we will solve for the equivalent resistance bet uh, between these two points of the right gap we will be getting an expression the equivalent resistance for the parallel case we know it is equal to r1 r2 multiplication of the resistance divided by the summation of the resistance okay so if we will solve for the equivalent resistance okay, we'll be getting a value of 100 x divided by 100 plus x now this is the equivalent resistance which is seen in the right gap now as per the uh, formula uh, we we have seen in meter bridge we know that for the balancing uh, condition the ratio of the resistance in the left gap to the right gap the in the left gap the resistance given to us is 100 ohm so 100 divided by the resistance in the right gap the resistance in the right gap we have uh, found it out to be 100x divided by 100 plus x so this is the resistor present in the right gap of the circuit is equal to the ratio of the balancing length now the ratio given to us l1 divided by l2 that is from left hand divided by the length of the right uh, from the right hand is equal to 2 that is l1 by l2 and this is equal to 2 
So from here, if we will solve for the value of x, we'll be getting a value of 100 into So from here, you can see that the value of the unknown resistance for uh, this given circuit is equal to 100 ohm. Okay. Uh, in this problem, we have been given n identical light bulbs, each designed to draw p power from a certain voltage supply. And these uh, bulbs are joined in series and the combination is connected across the supply. The power consumed by one, bul one bulb will be. Okay. So uh, here uh, the rating for the bulb for a single bulb given to us is p. That means it can draw p amount of power from a voltage supply. Uh, from a certain voltage supply, suppose we assume that uh, the voltage supply given to us is V volts. Okay. So, uh, if the power, the rating for the uh, one individual bulb is V square by R. Okay. If we'll assume that R is the resistance of a single bulb. Okay. So, the power rating given to us for a single bulb is V square by R. Now, what we have been given is we have n identical light bulbs and these light bulbs are connected, are joined in series. Okay. So, if uh, these bulbs are connected in series, then what will be the power consumed by one bulb. Okay, that means suppose we'll assume that there are n bulbs, okay, and these n bulbs are joined in series. Okay. This is the first bulb, this is the second, okay, and this is the nth bulb. Okay, and all these are connected in series across the supply of V volt. Okay. Now, if this is the case, then uh, we need to determine the power which is consumed by the single bulb. Now, in order to find that, what we'll be doing first is determining the power for the across the single bulb. Now, for that, we need to first find the voltage drop across this element because the formula for the power consumed would be uh, square of the voltage divided by the resistance. So, that means we need to first determine the potential drop across a single bulb. In order to find for the pot in order to determine for the pot uh, potential drop across the bulb, we need to determine the value of current which is flowing through the circuit. Now, that if if we'll assume that uh, the resistance of each of the bulb is R, so that means there are n resistors, okay, n resistors of each having a value of capital R, okay, and all of these are connected in series. So the equivalent resistance, okay, equivalent uh, the total resistance for the circuit would be. R plus R plus R up to n times. That means the total resistance would be n. The total resistance, the equivalent resistance for the circuit would be n times the capital R. Okay, the summation of n resistors which are connected in series. So that would be the equivalent resistance. Now the current flowing through the circuit would be, okay, uh, or the current flowing through the circuit, yes, would be the total voltage divided by the total resistance. So I would be V divided by the total resistance present in the circuit is n times of capital R. So this is the current which is flowing through the circuit. So the potential drop across a single bulb, across the uh, single resistance would be, okay. Now we know that the potential is current multiplied by the resistance. So that means the potential drop across a single resistance, okay. Suppose let us assume that across the first bulb would be I into the resistance of that bulb. So we will get a value of V by n okay so v by n is the potential across one of the bulb okay and since all the bulbs are identical okay we, and with the same resistance r we'll be having the same potential drop across each of the resist, uh, each of the bulbs as v divided by small n okay now we know the potential across one of the bulb now in order to find the power which is consumed by a single bulb okay we'll be using a formula suppose the p1 is the power consumed by the first bulb so this would be equal to the voltage drop across the bulb divided by the resistance of the bulb so, if we will substitute for the value of V1, we will be getting V square by N square times of R. Okay. Now, this is the expression for the power which is consumed by single bulb. Now, in the options which are given to us, we need to uh, find the power consumed in terms of the original power P. Okay. We know that the original power for a single bulb was V square by R. So, if we will substitute for this expression, what we will be getting is 
the power which is consumed by a single bulb okay in this case p1 it would be p divided by n square okay in place of v square by r we will be substituting as the p okay so this is what happens when n identical light bulbs are connected in series across the same supply v okay that means the power uh, which is consumed by each of the bulb is reduced by n square So the correct option is D.